Hello and welcome to Staying Relevant, the podcast with two best friends who are trying their utmost to make it in this crazy world of showbiz. Me, Sam Thompson, and Peter James Wicks. Look very radio then. I oh, know. You really went for it. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, feeling fresh today. We're right? back, baby. Uh, as always, I will be drinking and I will be swearing. So if you don't like that, go f- don't, don't fuck yourself, though, because no one wants that. We want you to be listening. Uh, you can catch us on YouTube every single Friday, and this comes out in audio form anywhere you get your podcasts every single Monday. Let's go. We have an unbelievable two guests on the sofa today. Uh, before we do that, you can also follow us on Staying Relevant Podcast on Instagram, uh, Staying Relevant Podcast on TikTok mm-hmm. uh, and just search Staying Relevant on YouTube for all the extra bits on a Friday. We love extra bits. Without further ado, it is two people who are just the best parents you've ever seen in your life. I look up to them. I love them. It's Michael and Hilary Whitehall. Go for it, mate. Michael, I'm really nervous. I just want to let you know that right now because I don't want to get this wrong in front of you because um, I've already been a little bit late to this podcast. Yeah, a little, little bit. Late. A yeah. little bit. I'm so sorry, so I'm not even going to look up now because I'm so embarrassed. Can um, I just say that when we did Jamie Lang's... Where oh, for Lang fuck's sake. Arrived? He was on the pavement yeah. when the cab arrived. Welcome, arms open, <laughs> hugs and everything, and then come up. Oh, it, I didn't know you were a hugger. He's a bit much, so well, desperate, that, I, isn't I, it? I, I, <laughs> I mean, we hugging, played it cool. He hugged. Well, do you, I'll hug you. I love hugging. And then okay. we were straight up the stairs and then straight on to one of these. With you, it was... Well, Where is he? Half an hour. No, <laughs> they're so busy sorry. at the moment. No, but honestly, gen- can I yeah. make, may I say one thing? Yes. Um, we Why have you gone increasingly posh? Because we, we're it? in a posh environment and I'm now posh May as well. I say one thing? I'm basically actually cut from your cloth, actually. I'm so I, sorry I about Pete. I have heard this. Yeah. Oh. Although the cloth you're wearing today is a bit creased. I, 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 it's bugbears. <laughs> just saying, is it linen? It's not your fave, is I'm it? I'm not good with linen. Why? Well, the problem with linen, you put a pair... I mean, look at these trousers, which aren't. Very well if, groomed. If these were linen trousers, they would have already started that creep yeah and yeah. you they go up like that and then you get a lot of shin on yeah. the show no so one wants you shin. <laughs> pull up your socks and then they carry on you got and good then set of pins, though. let's talk about the crutch yeah i know because that's makes you look like you got a, it makes you look like a stiffy yeah. all the time well they call that on a man that's a mammal toe a mammal? I didn't really? know. Yeah, that. when your bollocks sort of separate down, either yeah. side of the. We oh. cannot stop. Are you allowed to use that word? What? Bollock? Yeah, what? <laughs> Which word? Bollock? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I swear an awful lot. Sorry, oh, right. this man here. We were on a ra- live radio show, which I assumed had a delay. Didn't have a delay. He used the word bollocks, and the producer went into meltdown in the box. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you can say what you want here, Mark. Okay. Oh, yeah. Whose We're... show was that? Uh, well, it was Nick Grimshaw standing oh, in for yes. Oh, bloody hell, it was a biggie. Yes, yeah. there was no and, um... delay. Oh, I bet Nick loved and it. I said, bollocks. I said bollocks isn't a swear word. I said it twice. Yeah, but the it producers isn't. were going, well, it's sort of like a half, isn't it? I mean, it, really? I, can, I can tell you what I think are swear words. If you could, yeah, because... No, I'll... I don't well, know. We're not uh, having any... What's your favourite swear word? Um, this has got nothing to do with what we're supposed to be talking about. I'm just interested. Probably the F word. The oh, F the word a lot, yes. Yeah. It's your, it's your fuck. catchphrase. Yeah. Yeah. Cheeky fuck. Fo- fuck followed off. by the word off. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> probably. I think that is my most used. Yeah. 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 Sir, I, uh, I'm glad we got this. We've aired our grievances, yeah. or your grievances yeah. now. No, so no, I feel like we start from, from, a, yeah. from a fresh yeah. Yeah. sort of Clean. plateau. Clean um, slate. And I think it's important to note that you have incredibly soft hands. Do I? Yeah, when we shook hands just then. I think that's incredibly oh. creepy. Sir. No, 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 <laughs> sir. Whatever you're using on your hands, absolutely yes. Really? It's a yes for me. Right. Just it's... to let you know, his beauty regime, an hour in the morning. No. A minute. What an you hour? Do an hour. You do. Your that's ablutions a take an hour. Line. And <laughs> we just, cannot it deviate is a from that line. hour. We're not. <laughs> We're catching a flight. I have to fact. Oh, sorry. I have to factor in the hours ablutions. I mean, you're just sitting there and telling vicious <laughs> lies. All true. My beauty regime. <laughs> what do you mean? I wash my hands with, with soap involved. and water. What products do you use? 
Well, what? nothing. I mean, I it put does. on moisturizers, day moisturizers, day moisturizers, night moisturizers. Fact of that's why you've got skin like a dolphin. It's the moisturizer. It's just beautifully smooth. Oh, a complete lie. You had to bring that up. I'm putting the moisturizer on my skin at the moment, and when you're 83, which is what I am, uh, you look you'll be using moisturizer. No, I, I completely show you. agree. Shaving with a wet razor always. Yeah, and, and it cannot. Ready for this? It cannot be gel. It has to be shaving foam. Why is that? Okay. No, no gel. I can't bear. Uh, no shaving foam. But I shave every day. That's not Look, because I don't two. have a beard. Literally. That's not a beauty regime. Please why are you shaving, Michael? Oh, it's for my beauty regime. But Cannot... why would you not shave unless you had a beard? Yes, when, a when, when you're talking about shaving, are you just talking about your face or do you go for a full body? No, I go for the full face. Just oh. full face. OK, yes. I, was just, yeah, I was just wondering... What, if... you were thinking more done? Well, I was just wondering if it takes that long. I mean, yeah. surely the face doesn't... I just if wondered I if it was If I wanted full... anything done like that, I'd ask Mrs Whitehall to get involved. Oh, Wonderful. wait, back, sack and crack? Yeah. Well, oh. I have never been near no. the back, sack and crack, although I have to say that this morning ear and nasal hair were involved. Oh. I can't believe you've said that. <laughs> that is just so gross. Because you um, went on and on. Why? I think I ought to do it. I think I you should. And I, I said, said, what? For this Pete thing? Pete and we're Sam doing? are not going to want to no. see ear hair. Oh, I said, no, no you, way you're, you're, they're going to be interested in my ear hair. They're a couple of geezers. Uh, geezers, you They're going to be geezers. very pleased that um, I'm coming to their show with a tie and, and a suit, suit yeah, on exactly. and Has talking nicely to them. I have. I actually oh, really have. appreciated it. I yeah. thought it was really, really cool. Yeah. Um, we are a couple of lemon squeezers. You're right. Don't talk like that. No, we are. We no, love an apple and pear. It doesn't sound right. Sam. No, it does. It does sound right. It doesn't. You sound like a prat. No, I don't. So basically, we're both from Essex, and we're a couple of hard men. You're from Essex. I, I don't <laughs> think so. <sir. laughs> I basically be. I've been adopted into the Essex sort of way. Of no, you've not. You've never been. <laughs> Your bird's from Essex. I live in Essex, but won't tell you where I live because you'll just fucking turn up every day. That's <laughs> true. I've known him for six Can I years. Can I say, we now have a connection with Essex, which is so exciting. Well, we're actually going to get on to this, this get on to Okay, it is. All right. Sorry, I just want to say one other thing, too, because you're wearing a hat. Yes. I'm really sorry about my hat. No. I'm having a bad hair day. Well, I yeah, I mean, you yeah. just haven't got much left there. I, I just haven't... I am having a bad uh, hair day. OK. Yeah, it looks like it's actually attached to the hat today because it's gone very curly. <laughs> yeah, it's like Weird. one of those Scottish things. With yeah, your hair Jimmy is hat. very like Jack's, in it fact. It is, yeah. Too long. <gasps> is, is Jack's well? It, it used to be long. really long, my hair. Did it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then because I, I used to have a four, and now it's a five head because I'm receding, so it's had to get a little bit. I was amazed in Jack's. Um, what do they call those? Um... Rider. No, the things <laughs> where you go to a show and they have a table with a, or usually a really boring man behind the table. Oh, merch. Selling the merch. merch. <laughs> yeah, we love a bit of merch. And Jack's merch included a, a, a sort of fridge pass, magnet. Yeah, it was a fridge magnet. And it was a picture of me, and underneath it said, fuck off, <laughs> for people to put on their fridge. How and I do said, I get my hands Nobody on is going oh, to I buy anything that like that for, for their fridge. And the fridge, and the man who the we met man. the other day yeah. said, it's a bestseller. No. A <laughs> bestseller of any of Jack's merch is the one of you <laughs> with fuck off underneath it. <laughs> I Did, said, well, it doesn't say much for Jack's uh, Yeah, yeah, his uh, brand's go through the floor. Do you think after doing sort of travels with my father, because everyone uh, loves you so much, um, do you think Jack is a bit jealous of that? Because well, it's really, it's really your show Jack appears in. Yeah. Everyone watches for you. I mean, now you have a new moniker given to us by Jack, of course. We're known as the Nepo parents. So yeah. Nepo dad, Nepo mum. Yeah. This Nepo dad is out of control, <laughs> he thinks. I mean, give, Jack thinks. Give I an think. example. Why is he out of control? Uh, well, because he's cut, we've cut Jack loose. We're now doing our own podcast, as you know, The Wittering Whitehalls, where we give the benefit of our advice to, to people who email in with problems. Um, we're thinking about... Well, in fact, we are going to take it live. We're going <gasps> to the Edinburgh Festival for a night. This wow. Year. Are you actually? Yes. Well, we Details to follow. Today. I think, uh, yeah, look out, because we will be doing one night in Edinburgh of the Wittering White Money's Horse. not very good. <laughs> Classic. I no, thought it was my what? opening because I was an agent, as you probably know. Well, this, Maybe yeah, you didn't know. We were going to get onto this. So you, you were an agent. Is this how you both met? Because you were an actress. Yeah. 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 And actually, your whole family is basically the posh showbiz family. We're Barnaby was a child actor. We're the yeah. Kardashians of showbiz. Yeah. And Molly, she's got a comms agency. Yep. So you're basically all in showbiz. Yeah. Who's the most famous? 
Um, do you now? Or think you mean after me? Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously, I would say me first. Yeah. Then probably Jack, Jack and then Hillary. Yeah. And then our other son literally he goes doesn't, into panic if he sees a camera. Barney doesn't he, like. He's very much a background. Barney's boy. brilliant yeah. behind the yeah. scenes. He's brilliant he social media, stuff. organizing Brand PR, all that, that kind of but stuff. He, doing was, deals. But he was a child actor. Oh, like, he, was, didn't he, no. he did one. Element thing. of doubt. So Is that what? He had to do 58 takes. He was about four, <laughs> and the director yes. nearly gave up the business. And the director was a very <laughs> serious, very... Um, Bad tempered, bad tempered, old school, director. old school director. Fifty eight, and he was. He said, "Well, I'll just go over there and stand behind him." And so he went, came behind Barney, and Barney had to do this one line in a to in, in yeah. a French window, which was, "Mummy, I've cut my knee. Let me in." That was it. That's <laughs> what I've yeah. cut my knee. Let me <laughs> in. This is in the middle, and it was a thriller. Sorry, it was a thriller series. I mean, it wasn't a comedy. It was, yeah. it was serious. So this man got behind Barney and said, right, Barney, let's do this once more. And then Barney said, I've caught my and knee. And then he went, <laughs> and, he said, and, and he said, no, that's too slow. And then he went on and he said, oh, my God, what are we going to do with this child? And I said, how dare you refer to my son as a child? That I will, ch- I will make it work. And I said, Barnaby, come here. Daddy, why are you calling me Barnaby? You only do that when you're cross. <laughs> I said, well, just think of yourself as Barnaby for the moment. Now, <laughs> do this. And whatever you do, don't fuck it up. <laughs> and then he, he, did it. he did it. He did it. He did it. And he it was perfect. It, yeah. And then the director, oh, that's very yeah. good. Well done, Barnaby. Take 58. So and he decided, no, he no thank you. So he's very much back from boy. Any of that. What, what, so what were you agenting? So are we in the music industry or in the entertainment actors. industry? Actors. Actors, yeah. actors, <laughs> actors actresses, few directors, few sort of t- uh, technicians, but very few. And I do remember we went on holiday with one of your clients with his wife and children. And I remember that the son, one of his sons said, he was about 10 at the time, and he turned to Michael over lunch and he said, um, so which other actors do you work for? And Michael went, I think you'll find they work for me, actually. Take <laughs> your pardon. <laughs> Worked for? <laughs> so, Hilary, were you one of Michael's clients at one point? Is that Well, that was that... the idea, yeah, yeah, when I met him. That was him. the idea. I needed an agent, he needed a wife. Yeah. I think he did better Is that basically did. what yeah, he did, yeah? yeah. Did you just sort of yeah. pluck, pluck, pluck the pretty ones out that you liked? Was that what did that well, went? Yeah. Casting yeah, counts. Casting counts. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I never did any of that chasing around the, um, the table, desk. the desk. Although when I met you I had been chased time, around the desk by you, several agents. I mentioned agents, another yeah. agent. You said, oh, he chased me around the desk. Literally. Was it Love at First ago. Sight? These were different days, of course. Yeah. Um, love at First Sight was quite tricky because um, I had met someone five minutes previously at this party that we met at. And that was actually Love at First Sight. That was Love at First Sight. No, but it was, he did ask me the predictable questions. So that when I then met Michael, this man was still standing next to me. He was an American. And so Michael came over and said, oh, hello, who are you? And he said, oh, I'm Steve, this is Hillary. And then he said, oh, right, very nice to meet you. Um, so what do you do, Hillary? And Steve said, oh, Hillary's an actress. And I thought, I can speak. So I naturally assume well, no, but it went a on. Where do you live? Oh, Hillary lives in Kilburn. Uh, and and how long have you lived in Kilburn? Oh, Hillary's lived there. It's like it's like I'd lost my voice, and I thought. So he assumed it was my husband. He was in a white um, suit and with the nasal drawl and everything, suit? and I assumed mm. that he was gay. <laughs> <laughs> because in oh. those days, in those I days, I didn't see that coming. It was an assumption. Yeah, but it's a bold move. A white suit's yeah, a bold white. move. It was yeah. white. Yeah. Yeah. Like pure I was in white. A white suit yeah. and a shirt and tie. And gay, definitely gay. gay. I, I mean, mean, anyone who takes that much trouble with his dressing at that it time. T- it was to do with my voice, also. Yeah. What do you mean to do with your voice? Well, he thought that she thought I was, oh, sort of, hello, darling, and all that. <laughs> Not a darling. Were well, you very show busy? I yeah, never called well. anyone darling in my whole life, and yet people always say, oh, well, as an agent, you were not, hello, darling. Uh, Michael, yeah. I feel like Hillary's about to tell another vicious lie. Oh, yes, sorry, there is. Have you do call people darling. There we go. When you're very cross with oh, yeah, usually do. cab drivers. Cab drivers. Oh, oh, I'm annoyed. You do the condescending, darling. Yeah, it's like, listen, darling. I said, don't talk to me like that, darling. And then they 
they get really annoyed, but, yeah. uh, but only because I've called them darling. darling. That the is really they yeah. used to. I'm going to start calling yeah. you darling. Yeah. Darling, yeah. you Listen, do anyway. Darling. Come here, darling. Don't touch yeah. me. Yeah. Come Don't on, keep touching me. Come on, big guy. Um, seriously. Sorry. Thank you. Uh, you have to put Sam in his place a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah. puppy. Yeah. Um, you're also very well known for your dress sense. Talking about your dress sense. Do you wear a suit every day? No. No, what, I wear a suit when I go out. In? When I, if I go out, I mean, I wouldn't wear a suit if I went up to Sainsbury's to get the. When have you ever gone up to Sainsbury's? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I mean, say if I was going. He's up living to in a fantasy world no. now. What? What? Do you even know where the Sainsbury's is? <laughs> Um, I'm amazed you, you know, know, the, start, if amazed you know up, the name of it. Up the side <laughs> of our house, there's a Sainsbury's. By the way, that'll proving it. He's like, no, it's up down there and left there. For the benefit of your listeners, of course, other supermarkets are available. Waitrose. So, Waitrose, <laughs> yeah. yeah I'm amazed you use Sainsbury's. Yeah, I can't imagine you shopping in a Lidl or an Aldi. Oh, I love... Can I just say, Aldi, champagne, our daughter's wedding. We did a taste test with some branded champagne... Little and Aldi. And you know what? Nobody could tell the difference. So I bought Aldi champagne for a wedding and everybody loved it. Did you actually? I wow. did, yeah. Aldi champagne. I'm not a big fan of champagne. I'm not <gasps> keen on the bubbles. Oh, really? I'm more of a tequila and a beer drinker. I was going to say, are we having one of these? Would you like one? No, Absolutely. <laughs> not at this time of the day. No. We've got to be Pino Pete's an early... He's an I normally do. I've actually... Uh, Have you had one already? No. No, no, I haven't. I, I normally do by now, but I... Um, oh, somebody's had one. Oh, Maybe. no. That's, that, I think that's, that's from last week. That man, yeah. that... that. Little comedian who we little like. Com that little like. comedian is the best way to describe. Not Jack. He really. used to have wine and bottles of stuff. Oh no, he's not little. He used to sort he's of not pry little. you with alcohol. Alan Carr. No, oh, remember, no I didn't mean chat little, chat but he's yeah. quite sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had the, the go. Well, funnily enough, I actually wanted a go, but they couldn't fucking get one, so oh, I just got, no, a, I just got, got a little, little table. Yeah, we don't have much money for the podcast, no, so we no. just sort of got what we could. We wheeled it in. Yeah, yeah. Does it oh, have wheels? Doesn't it? Doesn't no, it doesn't have wheels. No. Um, oh, is does. he still around, Alan Carr? He's, he's dead. He's only yes, young. Yes, Michael. He's got very serious. He was on a television. very sweet man. He's lovely. Look, that is on wheels. But he got. Oh, he on wheels? Yeah. I thought he was getting pissed because I thought that the I thought drink you were was fake pissed. drink. No, but it was real. Yeah. Did you get pissed on his show? You did. I think you swore on that show as well. Oh God, yeah. didn't. Babe. You've got a right potty mouth, haven't you? And there was another nice person on that Can I just show. say, on that show, because yeah. I went to watch, the a... musical guest at that point just really hitting the big time, Adele. No! Yes. Really? Wow, yes. that's huge. Adele and Paul O'Grady, the lovely Paul O'Grady. Paul O'Grady. Who we love. For the love yeah. of dogs. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a massive dog fan. Yeah. What dogs have you got? I've got two oh, don't get started. rescue Frenchies. Both of nice. my rescues. Oh, lovely. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm dog obsessed. I have two cats. Let's nice. not talk about what? cats. Uh, uh, two ragdolls, actually. Oh, uh, ragdoll. One's called Albus Dumblepaw, and the other one's called Cedric Digger Bunny. Nice, I like yeah. it. Right. Just about sums up there. how different we are, because mine are Eric and Peggy. We've got a granddaughter. We've got a Peggy. granddaughter. We're going to get onto that. We'll yeah. do that okay. now. Okay. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Um, so yeah. Jack's finally done it. <laughs> finally done it. Yeah. yeah. Not when, shooting blanks. Well, yeah, I know, right? That's a good thing. It's a good that, start. I think one of the last um, things that I watched with the three of you in was when you took Jack speed dating somewhere on one of the travels and you, yes. were, you were worried about the fact that he might never actually settle down and get exactly. married and have a kid. So you must be over the moon. Thrilled. Absolutely thrilled. How's he feeling about it? He's thrilled. I mean, I'm not sure that he quite knows what's incoming in terms of the commitment. Yeah. So, you know, he's on tour at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's all about um, You're going growing to announce up. The dates. Yes, it's called Settle Down. I, I yeah. could run through the dates, the usuals, you know, Manchester, Leeds, Sheffield, Glasgow. Oh, sorry, I keep pinging. I do apologise. Um, um, you know, London's got three nights at the O2, et cetera, et cetera. But the whole thing finishes in July. Yeah. And you had a conversation with him the other day, didn't you? In front of Roxy. Roxy and I were chatting about things like maternity wear because my <laughs> daughter had just delivered a whole load of maternity wear to her. And I was talking about yeah. some things that I was... Because I'm still Jack's agent in... When Jack is Jack. When Jack is Jack. No, you're not. Yeah, not yes. for acting. <coughs> uh, yeah. He's got a, um, another agent for acting, which... Because he has. Mm -hmm. But when he's himself, when he's playing himself, so tours and... Wow, I didn't know that. Agent, yeah. Which is lovely. It's quite tricky. <laughs> No, it's not. And we have a very good Just to say one word, Beyonce, you know what happened with Who's her. Who's your agent then? Are you just your own agent? No, we no, do have an agent. For the first so time. So you're, you're Jack's I agent, but you've got agent. your own agent. Yes. 
Do you do ever you tell have... him how to do his job? Very, oh, if he gets very out of line, I do. call him darling. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> and also on the commission, you know. In oh, fact, yeah. he, he he anticipated me and said, "I'll be only be charging you ten percent." Ten, because he said, "You know, nowadays I know most agents charge fifteen, and I w- would only charge you 10. And would I thought, you? Well, he 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 jumped too quickly. Old school. Because I was going to give him fifteen, but he jumped. He came too quick. He yeah. came with the ten, so yeah. I thought, fine, and that's it. commission. And he's yeah. very situation. happy with that. Not very happy about this job because you guys don't pay people money, do you? <laughs> no, no, uh, we we don't, and we're actually yeah. very surprised that you came on. Yeah, um, but well, I've got always got a lot of plugging to do. Yeah, well, I, I, yeah. there must have been a reason. I, my yeah. my catchphrase, apart from fuck off, is no fee. No me. Yeah. yeah. yeah get, well, so that, that's what no I said when he rang and t- talked about you. One, I'd never heard of either of you. That's what I was going to get. Yeah. No Who forced you no into me. it? Yeah. So it wasn't looking very good. No, it wasn't. But and you then, are here. Yeah, but I'm here because Jack said, oh, they're lovely. Yeah. And then that's it, so, me. That's me, by the way, because yeah. I interviewed Jack once uh, and he, he was said, just like, yeah. 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 And then you turned up 20 minutes late and fucked it. No, don't say that. Don't say that. It's not Do you know what I mean? They didn't want to be here in the first place and then you fucked it. Don't put your hand up, we're not at school. Yeah, but I feel like we are sort of yeah, yeah. at school a little yeah. bit. Question, yeah. if I may. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, agent, actress, obviously very successful. Um, Why? The whole podcast is about and around staying relevant, right? Yeah. What do you have advice-wise for two guys who are getting slightly older in the game? Uh, I think we... <laughs> I mean, Jack. Jack's not really that much older than us. He's doing US tours. <laughs> yeah, but the difference is, is Jack's got a talent and we're fucking useless. Uh, Sam is desperate to be famous and desperately yep. always Will wanted be. to be part of this game. I fell into it and uh, basically I do it because I get paid now. Other than that, I couldn't give a shit. But, you sound like Michael and he sounds like me. Yeah, so basically yeah. the no fit, that Sam always takes the piss out yeah. of me because the first question I ask on any job how is much? how much? Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm not doing yeah. it for a laugh, am I? Yeah. Whereas, I am. Whereas Sam is just doing it so yeah. that people know him nothing. in the street. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. We're going to be James Corden. Well, okay. two um, James Cordons. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Well, I, I just, sorry, I will come yeah. back to you on that, or Michael what? will come back to you on the staying relevant and how to be famous, because you're very good at advice. No, I, I, I can already say that I think you'd be a really, really good child entertainer. <laughs> I say this to them all the Don't time. You? Kids TV. Yes. Interestingly enough, um, we did children's entertaining. We we did a we we did a dance competition for the under sevens. Oh no. And no, um, no. and and Pete no. actually made a young girl cry. Oh, um, oh for fuck's yeah, sake. For the first Sam. time, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and and he was handing out awards. I was emceeing. As you said, Michael, to be fair, I was feeling quite at home on stage in front of these kids. Mm. Um, you know, giving it the whole hey ho, away we go. Yeah. All that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. And and, um, and then Pete, and then Pete was giving out awards, and um, he was like crouching down real low, but because he's got quite a gruff ex- Essex accent, he's like, "Here you go, love, like have a bit, like well, enjoy no, that." Oh, so listen, I'm not really, like, I'm yeah, very Scrooge like. Yeah. Yeah. Let's cry. Let's put this into context, right? So it was a, it was, it, it was an under fucking sixteen's dance. Under sixteen. Yeah, but it was from ages up to sixteen. Okay, right. Um, at Butlins. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So we'd driven all the way there. I was very hungover. Where Didn't was know what we were supposed Butlins? to do. Oh, we're fucking Yarmouth or something okay. like that. Sam um, did all his crap on a microphone with all the kids and that because I'm not very good with kids. So I didn't really know what I was supposed to do when they come up. So I was just like, yeah, babe. Like, babe, babe. Babe. Well, that's what I called everyone yeah, like yeah, that. Babe. Do you know what I mean? So I was just yeah. like, and it was only then afterwards. When the little girls started crying and her mum come up, that I, I mean, the mums were a lot after that, weren't they? Just, I want to say two things, okay? Because I, do, I'm still pinging. Sorry. What are you? Why are you I, pinging like a microwave? Because I forgot to take this off, and it's text messages incoming. Oh, you're very popular. popular lady. Wow. Of course. Um, I want to say two things because I am the um, headmistress of our <gasps> podcast, The Witching White Horse. I do all the heavy lifting, and I'm very aware that somebody's got to edit this mishmash. Mm. Of, all over the place. Yeah. I want to return to two things. One is we were talking about Jack and the excitement of the baby. Yes. yes. And two, I want to just correct you on a misapprehension that you've got. That Go you on, think we're going to give you advice about being relevant. We came here to get advice from you about how we can be relevant. <laughs> well, we all fucked Jack then. Yeah. said to me, Mother, I want you to get some advice from Pete and particularly Sam. Yeah. Because he's very big on TikTok. Yes. And... You need to up your game on TikTok, you two, with the dance routines, and Sam is your man. Let, okay, let me straight... Yeah. St- I can fire straight at you. Yeah. 
not aggressive. That sounds aggressive. Yeah, fucking but, hell. But, so. but what I would suggest and what has worked for us, and yeah. I feel for like... you. I no, don't no, have us, TikTok. Us. I don't even know what TikTok is. Well, that's well, what Pete called it TikTok as well. You're I've been, calling it, I've been yeah. calling it TikTok for years, but it's, it's TikTok. TikTok. Okay. So basically... Is it what... anything to do with clocks? No, no. 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 Uh, it's a small no, mint But it is a fucking waste of time. <laughs> yeah. So... Basically, what I like to do, Hillary, right? I feel like you're quite me, and I feel like Michael's quite Pete. Yeah. So I would say... It's unfortunate for you, we, mate, sorry. We, we love a dance. We yes. love a dance, right? Yeah. But don't just do a normal dance. Put a costume on. So I'm talking like an inflatable dinosaur outfit, right? And then do a dance. Not nothing too big. You can literally okay. be two steps to the right, two steps to the left, a little raw, and there you go. Okay. They go mad for it. They okay. go mad for it, don't they? I don't have it, so I don't. I don't. Okay, you I don't. don't know. I don't. Okay. I don't watch anything I do because um, I used to have a little bit of dignity in life, and now I don't. So I'd Snap. rather just forget about Snap. it and just yeah. worry about when the, the bank balance goes up. Yeah, yeah. Sam absolutely loves all this shit. Yeah. Oh, I cannot go anywhere without Sam trying to force me to do weird shit. I mean, some really weird shit. The weirder, the better. Yeah. How weird is weird? I'll yeah. ride him with a cap. Oh, he's right. held my penis before. What on TikTok? Yeah, yeah. Or no, it was for a show. It was for a show. Um, was it Naked Attraction? No, no. <laughs> fucking embarrassing bodies. Oh. <laughs> um, no, we 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 had a show and and I took Sam to get a back sack and crack. Did yeah. you scream? Oh, I did. Terrified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was painful. Yeah, very. Yeah, it's not great. It's not great at all. Yeah, it's a sensitive area. It very very involved. sensitive. Are you in fact a screamer? Um, <laughs> No, I know it's a personal question, but <laughs> Michael, uh, Michael, he's actually he's actually more of a crier, Michael. I would say I'm a, a light grunter. Oh, oh, what, a lunter. Sort of, oh, like, oh. Like how does that go? Yeah, I don't think we should be doing this in front. Well, of Well, no, I th guys, do you want to do you want to hear the light grunt just really yeah, quickly? Let's, let's yeah, let's good. hear it. Just give us a quick light grunt. The people have spoken, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, oh. Michael, I'm so sorry. I'm panicked. Quite light, man. <laughs> yeah, oh. <I'm> light. <laughs> that's grunt, that's uh, How's your? Oh, that's uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm panicking now. No, teeth. Michael, I promise you, it's not like that. It's all no. grunt. You used don't to grunt. Do a grunt well, yeah. sort of. Yeah. We're talking about during intimate moments, grunting is involved. Can you beat Sam's grunt? Can you do a grunt? So long did ago. <laughs> Um, like a past life. What you mean, like a sort of? Uh, yeah, that, that that's sort of thing. Oh no! Okay. Uh, <laughs> yes, what the right. fuck is happening? Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, ooh. See, look what you've started. I don't uh, mean that. I didn't realise. Yeah. I went gonna... high at the end there, though. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If we could, uh, was it? But the problem is, if that's clipped together, it's going to sound like you two are having an intimate moment together. Yes. All right. I would. That's yeah. going to be the worst thing. I think it's like we're just going to block us out. Yeah. And it's just going to be like you two having some sort of tantric. Yeah. Tantric moment. Yeah, moment. Yeah. Yeah. Can we get back to yeah, Jack? We, yeah, can also, we? Also, can I can get we? back? We were telling <laughs> a story about I was having a conversation with right, Jack about there. dates. Right. Right. <laughs> in September. So I love the way the mud is in here. Jobs and, and, and we're moving and we could yep. do that in September or maybe early September or maybe at the very end of August, but probably or even the beginning of October. And yeah, Roxanne but he, he, yeah, but also is sitting there quietly. Jack, we should be talking to me actually, but Jack said, <laughs> Well, I love so you, Hillary, so much. Yeah. Jack said, I may, maybe I could put a few dates in in September, you know, because the, the, sorry, the tour is going, you know, Pretty well. Let's slot in a couple of dates in September. And Roxy said to me, "Excuse me, Hillary." She said, "Jack." So she came out of my conversation and into theirs. And he said, "Yes." And he said, "Do you remember what's happening in September?" And he said, "No, what?" And she said, "We're having a baby." <laughs> I'm not sure that I really want to be going off to uh, Bradford, Bradford to do a gig. And Michael it wasn't said, Bradford. I love that. Michael Gilford. always singing the commission. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that. It yeah. was further. It was, um, where was it now? Liverpool. Oh, it's fucking miles away. I know. Yeah, it's yeah. only a couple of hours, isn't it? Yeah. You're thinking of money, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, four hour round trip. I, she was thinking, you know, how many is he thinking of, et cetera. Anyway, no better. So, so she was, was thinking that Jack was going to stay in the house all through. Well, he's missed September. most of the pregnancy. I mean, he was there for the important bit, but sadly, because he's been on tour, of course, he's. What can you do? You're working. Scan and things, but anyway. Do you do you think Jack's going to make a good do good dad? Yeah. Well, I think he'll be sweet. He claims that he's had practice because he's 
allegedly right. kept it's a basil plant. Charles, no. Else. No. <laughs> That's that Jack just... just texting me saying you're talking absolute bollocks. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Right. Okay. I don't know what oh, he's... I think he's too much rush of blood to the head here going on. I don't know what right. he's talking about. I think about. it was after the moment you two had. You've, you yeah, kind yeah, of, exactly. you've, you've let it get to um, you, both of you. No, he, he claims that he's kept a basil plant alive. And, of course, they've got a dog and he's kept the dog alive. Well, like, it's a good start. It, the basil plant, the jury's out on that one. It's a dead, it's basically dying. Um, it's <laughs> a dead basil plant. But the dog is definitely alive. The dog is definitely oh, well, alive. Yeah, that's so good. that's a start. But, yeah. of course, a baby's a very different prospect. And I do keep saying to him, Jack, there's quite a whirlwind incoming, just warning you. Do you think you're going to be heavily involved? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I... As well as having a grandchild already and one due possibly even this afternoon. Molly is so over. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Bless her. She's very hot and she's got a very bad back and this baby is due on Sunday. Do you want to check them text messages just, then because yeah, it's been just, going off quite yeah, a bit? Yeah, exactly. And I'll tell you, if you, if you miss that because you were 20 minutes late, you've yeah, worked yeah, out. Yeah, That's yeah, all yeah, I'm yeah, saying. No, no, yeah. no, Molly no, no, will no. never forgive you. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, so we will have two grandchildren by the time number, number That's three. That's unbelievable. Right? Toby must be over the moon. Toby is... He's so he's so excited. We don't know who's incoming either. They've already got Peggy. Yes. Two and a bit. Uh, who's lovely. Um, but we don't know who's incoming. And we don't... Well, I th I think Jack and Roxy know who's incoming, but uh, we don't know who's incoming. So so how involved, Michael, would you like to be in changing of nappies and... Oh. Uh, Absolutely not. No. I was very good. You were good at, with ours. In the day. Yeah. Was very good. He was, to be fair. Yeah, very you've done good. your time, though, now, mate. Yeah, yeah. Exactly My that. feeling is that I don't think I want to be too involved because, you know, they're only having all these babies because they look at me and think, fuck, we better get on with this <laughs> because he's not going to be around very long, let's be honest. <laughs> And so let's have babies. Let's have give him grandchildren. And then you're having so then one the of them. I've got a grandchild, and then the other one says, well, oh, "I'm well, having one too." And yeah. how am I? And then, well, I'm going to have two. And then the <laughs> other one says, "Well, I'm going to have two. And I'm lying there on the bed, you know, going, "Oh!" <laughs> and they're all rushing around with more and more grandchildren. So it's rather sweet. Can I, I just say, he is literally putty in Peggy's hands. Really? I really? Mean, their relationship is absolutely adorable which is what i'm sure jack thought oh i think i'd like a bit of this thing yeah yeah because yeah. they're very sweet together i have to say her opening line now though you'll see what kind of grandparent he is i open the door and peggy's standing there and she goes grandpa chocolate yeah <laughs> oh you're a briber nice yeah I they like it. Just, yeah, grandpa chocolate. But that's the thing, just feed them. It's like, yeah. you know, it's, yeah. like, it's like with my cats. If I feed my cat... It's not like having a cat, Sam. It's not like having a Because the cats prefer me because I feed them. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I'm not equating having a kid to having a cat. Yeah. But, like, I feel like the, the more you feed, the yeah. better you are liked. Yeah. That's what grandpas are for, though, too, yeah. chocolate. I yeah. just find cats quite scary. Oh. I, 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 do you know what? I love all animals, but I don't trust cat people. No, I never oh. think, you know, any minute they could go. One of them. Uh, yeah, just to claw you. Yeah. Yeah, but, Michael, that's not, I feel like we were on a really good place just then, and I feel like now we... What, after you both had your moment? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I no, he, he's got back. what he wanted out of you, and that's it. He's never going to fucking no, speak no. to you again. We can get it I back. I mean, I wouldn't. If I, if your cat was here now, I wouldn't kick it or anything. I'd, I'd, <laughs> I would I'd, hope I'd, not. I'd, I'd, try, I'd, I'd probably stroke it, but, but not. <laughs> in a sort of way that I'd want, to want it all over me. You know what I mean? Yeah, and is that how you feel about the kids as well? You're kind of like, look, I've done my bit now. I'll stroke it, but I won't kick yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've done my bit now. I, I, you know, I'm of a certain age. It's yeah. time for me to take a backseat. I'll Absolutely. talk to them when they're two. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Well. That's the point. You yeah. can't... Yeah. So you, they're maybe, like dead. They're, like, they're like stones in your hand. Can I just say, yeah. the one thing that Michael was always very good at, and he did actually do it with Peggy, and I know he will do it with the one about to appear, and indeed Jack and Roxy's, is that one of the things he's really good at doing is actually dancing with the baby. So he'll yes. take the baby and he'll put on some sort of slightly smoochy music. <gasps> do a lot of yeah, I'm quite dance. good at that. You know, it's dancing. the rocking motion. They, I mean, they used to sort of gaze up in his face thinking... Michael. You're good at the rocking motion, are you? Yes. Is that just trying to keep yeah. your balance? Yeah, rocking. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Michael, take sort me. Sort of. Take me now. Yeah. There you go. Oh, you do? Yeah. I'm a baby right now. Cradle me. Yeah. Cradle me. me. Do you know what's weird? Yeah, he's, he's done that multiple times, that position, with multiple maybe. guests that we've had on the show, yeah. and it's always for a different reason. I'm not entirely sure Did why. Did you do it with Laura Woods last week? Yes, I think so. 
You, did you listen to Laura Woods? He's obsessed with I Laura. love He's Laura. in love. I with love Laura, Laura Woods. Yeah. We're going to play dance we with her. No, we're not. Done. Do you want to come play Maybe. dance with her? I wish we could have had the show with her. Yeah. That would have been even... Do you know what? I would have waited, you know, even more than You'd the hour. You would have waited for an hour. <laughs> I would have waited two hours. <laughs> Michael, Laura the thing would. is, we were, we were going to play dance with Laura, <laughs> but then Pete wanted to play it cool and didn't respond and didn't want me to respond. No. I was going to basically double down on a message I had sent Laura being like, yes. should we go for a drink? Yeah. It'd be quite cool to meet her for a game of darts. Yeah. And so, you know. But, but we'd spoken about it, all, all of us playing yeah. darts, yeah. by the way. So, just a random thing we thought Laura might want to play darts. I threw a DM her way, yeah. right? And. Um, What's sorry, DM? you won't know what oh, that is. I threw a message her way, right? right. And, and she responded and she sent another one back. And so we were having a bit of back and forth. And I was like, this is pretty good. This is going quite well. And then, and then she sort of stopped replying, Michael. And then I'm a double downer. So, yep. like, you know, if you don't yeah, reply, yeah, if you don't, yeah, you'll I'll just back. sort of be like, sorry, you must have had bad connection yeah. three days ago. Like, or what? Is, yeah. You know, let's 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 carry on our conversation. Pete was like, no, we need to play it cool. No, I didn't say yes, that. Yes, you just, did. No, that's not what I said, Sam. Uh, uh, you're telling vicious lies now. <laughs> um, what I said was just leave her. If she wants to play, she knows, just, then she'll reply at some point. Well, she hasn't. Can I Well, just no, say, because she doesn't want to play. I think you should double down, but with the new information that... If you would like to play darts, we've got a, 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 another wheel because M- Michael Whitehall will be joining oh, us. John, I'm messing her now. I, I mean, yeah, I, just you know the sort. You know play darts? Well, I'm yeah, not... I used to be rather good. So did I. Yeah. But if I was meeting I mean, Laura Woods, it wouldn't be t- for the darts. No. Well, I think no. darts would have to be involved because that's what I'm just throwing out mm. there now. I'm just and Barnaby, yeah. our youngest, who we've talked about. Um, or Who's not getting much. married. Who's so as getting well married. as two babies incoming, we've got a wedding now, coming. Now, he, he was in love. I mean, genuinely in love with Laura Woods. I mean, he'd never met her. He'd, he just saw her on, and he used to say, and she's so nice too. Mm. And she's attractive. Very attractive. And so knowledgeable. So knowledgeable. And yeah. she has a lovely voice. And she's amazing. And I said, right. Uh, so what else about her, Barney? I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I think I'm in love with her. And I said, oh, but fortunately, this was five or six years ago. Would have to be, otherwise his fiance, who we had. But now, <laughs> now he Sorry, never tats. ever mentions Laura Woods. And when I mentioned the, to him yesterday that we're doing this show, and I mentioned that Laura Woods had been on, he said, "Oh, who?" <laughs> That's so Quite good. right too. And I said, "Laura Woods." Oh, right. That's I used to be in love with Sporty that. Spice Ooh. back in the day. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, Sporty Spice. It was an odd one because she wasn't always the one that everyone would, would gravitate towards. Oh. But it was the tracksuit for me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I used to go and stand in my <laughs> what sister's. What are you talking about? I used to stand in my sister's bedroom. And just a, look. A no, no, no. So she, so she, my sister had a poster. I just stand there and just wa- and just look. Gazing. I don't know what's happened here. I whole, I I've got a whole list of. Go- this okay. has just been do an you absolute want to, mess. Do you want to do a Q and A? Um, shall we? Should we just try and run through some bits? Oh, I've got one. Okay. So Regroup. you're both you're both very very relevant. Everyone loves you. Yeah. You've got the podcast. Um, obviously, the shows that you've done have been a massive massive hit. Are there any shows that you would like to do? Uh, well, he and if so, how much would it cost? Yeah, well, that was always his first. He was yeah. actually offered. I'm sure. Strictly. <gasps> Shut the front, front door. door. Yeah. Not enough. Not enough moolah. Well, we never got to the moolah because there was an issue because it was during lockdown. Actually, it was the first one that Jamie was going to do. That would have been brilliant. His, do you remember he broke his hand? Yeah. yeah. So these ladies arrived. There were three, I think. By appointment, so they didn't just randomly yeah, come to us. Oh, we found strictly you. Strictly were cold calling. <laughs> they literally went. They went. Oh, Mr. Michael, we finally got yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> and they were very charming. They were. And we talked about the show, and yeah. they asked me if I'd seen it, and I had. Anyway, um, the problem was. Then I got this incredible shock from one of these three ladies at the BBC, yeah. all of whom were charming. Yeah. Absolutely charming. Yeah. When I said the only thing that I wouldn't want or need to do, and that is rehearsals, I, <laughs> I don't rehearse. Yeah, I, I just come go for it. He said, I'm and gonna, do what he said, you want I'll me to do. He said, I'll just wing it. I'll, I'll wing just it. wing it. But Love I it. do just... not want to attend rehearsals, particularly not. They wanted me to go to well, some because, terrible yeah, place. Because called... it was lockdown. Uh, we were, you yes, know, in yeah. lockdown. What was they, the place called? I'm just about to say. Oh, right, okay. Calm. Fine. I love this. It's like me and Pete. We live in Putney. 
and they... I live near you. Well, can you let them do we'll, one we'll story on at a time? Yeah. Okay, sorry. So, um, because of lockdown, they wanted everybody to bubble up and the rehearsals were going to be in Elstree. Oh, that's to miles Elstree away. is yeah. three and a half hours. Yeah, yeah, it's And fun. I said, I'm sorry, I don't oh. You said, well. fuck off. Yeah. So I've never we, gone said, to Elstree. I'll tell you what. Even when there, I was an act, uh, actor's agent. Pinewood, lovely. Yeah. 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 Closer. She Shepperton. No. Fine. So, you know what he said? He said, I'll tell you what we could do. Mrs. Whitehall could push the furniture back, roll up the carpets, and we, we could, could do it here. And shut up. Yeah, because we and were in said, the no, nice sitting work. room. That study. is work. <laughs> nice room. I mean, yeah. about the size of this Student. area no, here. And the work. BBC didn't go for that. No, so then, well, because of the rehearsal situation, they said we, we would have to insist that you would be up in Elstree. And but I'm there was there. another reason, wasn't there, actually? The real reason why you actually then said, I'm not sure I can Yeah, well, I, only, I mainly heard that from John Sargent. Yeah. Um, and that was, I heard about something called The Curse. Well, I was just about to ask, yeah. And I thought, oh, I wouldn't risk, I couldn't risk. Bit of a Lothario over there, Michael. <laughs> to risk that. Yeah, yeah. Do you, would you have been worried that the... Well, um, I, what, you mean that he was worried the, that I was going to go off with Anton Dubeck whilst he was busy with whoever he was with? I think that was the... Is that is that right? More I more likely? That was, more that was the more likely thing. Yes. So, Michael, did you genuinely think that you weren't going to do rehearsals and you would just turn up on a Saturday night and just fucking bang out a rumba? Yes. I okay. thought it was a show where people dance with each other. It and is. My dancing. But like set routines that they've rehearsed. Exactly. You couldn't, I, I mean. I've never, never seen the show. But what would you do? So, the, so the, the, the curtain comes up and they go, right, go. What are yeah, you doing? I would have just started dancing. <laughs> How? How are you dancing? Well, I, I feel like, like this is a dance, new show. But Literally. that would be yeah. the whole fun of it. Yeah. I would I love to watch to you. Yeah. Just sort of one of these, yeah. one of these. What about the jungle? I'm a celeb to get me out of here. You know, that very no, you. I couldn't do he, that. He you don't fancy a kangaroo could... bollock in the mouth? or No, there's no way I could do that. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Mrs. Hillary? Whitehall could I'd do that. I'd love to do She would yeah, definitely. Would do it. She's Questions the then. Yeah. Right, how much money would you have to be paid, Michael, to go and eat I, a kangaroo I'd like bollock? I'd you. I'd do it for nothing. <laughs> no, I've done it. So. Have you? Not, not the jungle, no, no, no. Have I you... went to the side show. Fuck me. It wasn't a very good fucking year, that one. Yeah, I've eaten a pig's penis. Um, a camel toe. Yeah, tell us about I'm a Celeb. Yeah. What, you did I'm a Celeb? I know, I did extra camp, so it's like the, the thing where you go and sit and talk about it, but you do the challenges. Sam never really does the main shows. He's very good on the side. Yeah, I'm a side piece. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I did want to ask you about how to stay relevant, because I uh, never quite managed to attack the big ones. Well, I think that's your mistake. You don't want to be doing the side shows. You want to be doing the main event. Yeah, but you see, I, I go to the opening of an so Is it likely that they're going to ask you to do the... Very. ...to the jungle? I have absolutely no idea. I think it's very likely. Well, I mean, this could be did. my calling card. Yeah, If yeah. they did, put them on to me for the money. Michael, how, why, why would you not do it? Why is it an absolute oh, I no? Be any worse. I mean, I mean, for a start, where's I mean, he going to do his hour-long ablutions? It's yeah. terrible. Yeah, I don't think you can take all your no. moisturisers in. No, no, and exactly. they, they, no they, moisturiser is one involved. Luxury, yeah. No, exactly. No, I could definitely not do that. No, no. What about? Um, I'd love to do Celebrity MasterChef because. Oh thinking. yeah, I've done Brilliant. that. Oh, how did you get on? Uh, quarterfinals. Oh, well done. Yeah, but what I'm not. What was your signature dish? I, all mine was vegetarian. I'm vegetarian, so yeah. I cooked, which I don't think Boring. John and Greg particularly. Uh, they love they love a bit of meat, don't they? they but my you. my best dish was sticky toffee pudding. So I made my own salty oh, caramel nice. sauce and I fermented my own toffee vodka. Lovely. Very all my nice. all, basically all my dishes came with a drink. Yes, of course they did. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Um, so, yeah, but it's, it's a really intense show, though. Mm. I was absolutely devastated because they've already used the celebrity I would have liked to have done it with. Who's that? Paul Chuckle. I would really? love to have done it. Is that one of the Chuckle Brothers? Love the Chuckle Brothers. Yeah, they're yes. lovely. Paul Chuckle. Oh, one of them, sadly. Paul did. and yeah. Barry. Why would, Why Paul Chuckle? I just love Paul. We know Paul. He's oh, you know great. him? I just, I, Jack was he's obsessed a, he's a sweet soul. with the Chuckle Brothers. Really? Yeah. Pro absolutely obsessed yeah. with To me, to you. To you. Would they chuckle? When he was in his... Twenties and Would they chuckle? 30s. Do you what? not know who the Chuckle Brothers are? One of them has a moustache. They both have moustaches. Oh. Right. One point. To me, to you. But do it's they chuckle? They do chuckle. Paul yeah, chuckles a lot. <laughs> I He's love very Paul sweet. We yeah. see him a bit. Don't we do. We? we do. We have a mutual See, friend, and we have dinner in Putney. Yeah, he's lovely. I'll get you along next. Yes. Time. Okay, so this is this is very off piece, Pete. But can I come round for tea? Yes, anytime. Yeah, what with Paul Chuckle? Anytime. No, we're well, just with you guys. Or just yeah, with yeah. us. I would yeah. absolutely love it. I promise you. I'll wear a suit. I'll come round. Yeah. I'm very well spoken when needs be. 
you have you, are we good, have we got five minutes to do the rest of your questions? Basically, yeah. I was just going to ask what you've got coming up. We'll just, we'll just wrap it up because we, we've wasted too much of your time already with, with Sam's incoherent bollocks. Love it. Um, so no, what, well, have you, what, what have you got coming up next? You've got the podcast. Yeah. Wittering podcast. Whitehalls. We've got a live podcast, Wittering Whitehalls. We've got a couple of things. Have you got a date for that yet? Uh, August the, I'm going to have to look it up. August the 19th. Can That's you just check? Edinburgh, That's a Saturday. August the 19th. It is. It is a Saturday. T How do you know that? Because I know because my birthday is actually a couple of days beforehand. Uh -huh. Yeah. August the 19th, you will be able to get tickets, but unfortunately, I don't know what the link is yet. But if you, I'm sure if you just Google it, we're doing it at the Preston Field Hotel, who are becoming a venue this year. They're doing a soft launch to be a new venue at the Edinburgh Festival. And we're with uh, a lot of up and coming turns, yep. as they used to yep. be called. Comedians. One of the, well, uh, well, the one there is of them a comedian is actually opening, a Scots comedian is opening the whole, Scottish comedian is opening the whole show, the whole week of shows, then us. And, and then, then we've got um, uh, uh, Cliff Richard. Richard, have you heard of him? He's I, a singer. He's doing, yeah, a I know Cliff Richard. You know, he's he's doing quite a sort old. of, you know, an evening yeah. with, how, with how Gloria Hunnaford. How are all going on a summer holiday? Yes. No Richard. more working for a week or two. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, and we've got uh, Christopher, Christopher Biggins. Biggins. Is it oh, yes. we wow. love Biggins. Yes, yeah. we love Biggins. Yeah. So, uh, so it should a, be fun. It's not a young cast exactly, but it's. I think they've asked yeah. us. Hoping to, to, to put in the Gen Zs. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm bringing the average age down by about twenty years. <laughs> So, but that will be fun. And we've got a couple of things we're developing, haven't we? We, we are developing. Programs. Will there be any more travels with? I, I don't think there will be any more travels with, but I think Jack, again, has had a sort of um, a pivot moment with that and thinking there are possible things I could still do with the old... What format. happens with Jack is that I do all the pub publicity... Sorry, I'll say that again. Yeah, have another run at that. Yeah. I do all Jack's publicity things where Still he wants... it. <laughs> Jack and I do a lot <laughs> together <laughs> when he's got a big show coming up. But, and we do social media. We do. And Jack always says, why don't I do something with Daddy? And they say, oh, yeah, that'll be good. So then we do some stuff together. And then he says, actually, that was rather good, doing that with you. Oh. We've also we've got a, a series coming up on Classic FM as well. <gasps> we are doing three one hours about crotchety composers. Uh, sorry, what? A crotchety, crotchety is an annoyed composer. Exactly. Cr you see what composers. we did there, though, because yeah. crotchet is also a note, yeah. a musical note, but oh, yeah, we're doing bad-tempered composers. Yeah. Yeah. Or a semi-crotchet. Or yeah. a semi-crotchety. Yeah. Mm. Sam used composers. to play the trumpet. I did, grade six. Sorry. I could be the crotchety one, and you yeah. could be the semi-crotchety crotchety one. one. Yeah. And the I only think... semis and crotches Pete's nose is very different. <laughs> I, I can imagine. It's quite good for you. That's very good. I see what you did there. Yeah, I see what you did there. That was um, good. You're happy with that. I'm looking around for a yeah, yeah, yeah. You always know when Sam's done things, he looks for everyone else to go, yeah, well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I am allegedly, I mean, I've been working so hard on this. I even managed to track down a couple of the writers on it. Because I was in the first series of the reboot of... I mean, I was in the, the original series of Bad Education playing yeah. one of the characters' mothers. He's now one of the teachers. No. So, so I lobbied long and hard to get a part in the reboot, which I did. I then tracked down a couple of the writers and I formed a WhatsApp group with them, with the director and Jack. And I kept saying, how's Mrs. Carmichael's part coming on? Anyway, I hope okay. that series two, I will be back. I just Mrs. thought something. Michael. I'm sorry for cutting you off. Hmm. You'd be brilliant in staying relevant the TV show. <gasps> Oh, Brilliant. hello, I like it. We need an agent! Yeah. Yeah. We need a fucking agent! Yeah. Yeah. Sam and I wrote a sitcom. Oh, which, and? Which is what this podcast is based on, basically, which is all the stories over the years yeah. of some of the mad things that we've done. The embarrassing things the we've embarrassing done. embarrassing yeah. things that we've done. Yeah. To stay relevant. Um, yeah. to, to stay relevant. So, um, yeah, so yeah there, are, there are bits in, in process. I I'm, would be 25%. <laughs> if you wanted me. Of the, just what, saying. Of the 25. whole show, yeah. 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 I try. would do that. I just want to leave you with one anecdote there about how good he is at, at about spotting talent because there was one particular actor that I... F I used to be a photographer as well. I used to do people's spotlight pictures. Yeah. And I, this, I knew this guy's mum and she said, oh, he's desperate to do some acting. Could you do some pictures for him? So I said, yes. And I looked down the, the, the barrel of the camera, I mean, the lens of the camera, and I thought... It's a very commercial face, this. Very commercial face. 
And then he said, oh, I gather your husband's an agent. Could I go and have a word with him? And I said, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I said he'll tell you not to bother, but uh, by all <laughs> means, go and have a word with him. He'd so done a bit of modelling. He'd done a bit of modelling. Yeah. And so off he toddled. Nice to see boy, Mike. Very nicely nice. spoken, yep. quite pleasant looking. I've um, very We talked for probably <laughs> half an hour, yeah. 20 minutes. And at the end of it, I said, well... Um, he said, would you take me on? Yes, would you take me on? And I said, no, I'm sorry, I'm... I'm sort of semi-retired. I don't really look after actors anymore. I mean, I do have a few, you know, a few big names like Nigel Havers <laughs> and Christopher Biggins. But uh, I, I just, you know. And anyway, whether I, sh I could or couldn't, I would just say to you, don't think about it. Don't Stick with your modelling and then get a proper job and you'll be fine. You also said to him, you're too tall. The business is awash with boys like you. You're not going to get anywhere. Just right. forget it. So be, become Do a... Do something else. Like John... Oh, John Gandhi. David Gandhi. Gandhi. David, David Gandhi. Gandhi. Be still That's my one. beating heart. Yeah. Make him Love your big well. hero, not somebody like Colin Firth, who I also looked up. You don't, you, you don't want that. It's it's all edgy. Or yeah. You never know. You're never you know. Get mm. you You'll be out understand? of work all the time. So off know. he went. And I was rather upset that he went to see another agent. I thought... He hasn't taken any of my <laughs> advice. And he went to the other agent, and the other agent signed him. And what Do you was want to know what his name is? Oh. Go on. Can you remember his name? Robert Pattinson. Shut the fuck up. Yes. Yeah. Batman. Yeah. Yeah. Motherfucking the Batman. Batman. The Batman. Shut up. You went lost a lot of the mix there, big oh, guy. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And I knew. I looked down that lens when he was 17, and I thought, this is a very, very commercial <laughs> face. Oh, my wow. God. Give it up, I yeah. said. Well, I'll not even give it up. Don't start it. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Does that give you sleepless yeah. nights? Yeah, anyway. Yeah. I do sometimes so, just think about it. in terms of being relevant, I mean, not a clue. <laughs> not a clue. <laughs> All right. Well, then we're going to ask you, Hillary. Oh, the final note then yeah. is what is one tip yeah. for us yeah. to stay relevant? And can you see us making it? Sam, you're quite thirsty there. Oh, he's quite very desperate. needy, yeah. very so dehydrated. Well, for that, I mean, uh, that alone, try not to be quite so desperate. Um, I mean, in our case, of course, we are helped by having children of the right age mm. and now grandchildren who are going to keep us even more relevant. Mm. So I think you just need to borrow somebody's children. Have I mean, kids. Teenagers. Have kids if you're own, but you, obviously that's a bigger journey. Mm. Just borrow other people's teenagers because they'll they'll keep you in place. Yeah, I think that's actually quite a good idea. Oh, like I that. think Michael sees something in me. The way he's looking at me right now, <laughs> the way he's eyeing me up. Yeah. You can see something, can't you? Yeah, I think I could I help you. You say, <laughs> fuck, I can fucking can... see it, man. We're yeah. going to LA. I but think also, I help. you do need to stop this sideshow business. Just get into the actual shows. Yeah. Get me in. Yeah. yeah. Get, drill me in. I mean, as yeah. somebody who's been involved in it, I yeah. say, fuck podcasts. Just get on and do some proper stuff. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The big stuff. But also, mate, just want to let you know, like Ringworm, it's tough to get me out there. When I'm in, yeah. it's hard to get me out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah like yeah. a limpet to a rock. You've got to really yeah. batter me with yeah. a rock to get me off. Mm. But I think you need to just investigate friends or friends of friends who have teenage children because mm. you know you're cracking on a bit now age wise Pete's yeah. 35 going on 76 well, yeah know, 35 yeah. have you thought about settling down and having children oh, don't 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 do this on me now Hillary you can't do this on <laughs> me now <laughs> well sounding like um, your mother yeah let's, um yeah I, I would love to one day okay. I'm just I'm just not I'm just not in a place to do that right now well he waited till he was 48 before he well, exactly got child Loads of time. You've got plenty of time. Exactly. Yeah. Well, listen, yeah. from the probably the best duo, I would say, on TV, on podcasting, anywhere at the minute, thank you for coming in. We really Great appreciate pleasure. I apologise for Sam being late. You've both right. been as fabulous as we thought you would be. Can I just say I'm a little bit upset after last week that you haven't mentioned my feet? Well, it's because everyone tells me that I'm not allowed to talk about feet, but you do have beautiful feet. Uh, your toes know... are delightful. Yeah, and the shoes from the pineapples. Capri. Yeah, are they really it's, nice? It's They're a, a new pound. Is it a lemon? lemon? Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, lemons. I like lemons. I do. Have, I do have a quick question. Do you ever? Because my girlfriend does this to me. Do you ever um, go up to Michael and be like, "You notice anything different about me?" Yep. And then, <laughs> does he ever get it? No, 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 but why should we be expected to know that you painted no. your nails? Yeah, exactly. I just, I can never understand the it. The other one that he hates more than any other, should I wear this dress or this, sorry, should I wear this dress or this dress? And he goes, mm, that dress. And I go, what's wrong with that dress? But why are you asking questions? That's the thing. Like, we've given you an answer. That's all you need to know. I know. I Michael, think... we'll talk. Yeah. 
go right. enjoy your day thank Lovely you so much you. we absolutely have loved this it's that was brilliant my, lovely yeah. to you too. This is to both of you. Michael, could we have a hug? Yes, oh, definitely. I'll give you a hug. Are you going to film this hug? Yeah. Yes. Michael. Up you get, Michael. Hug, oh, Michelle. hugs. Michelle. Michelle. Hugs incoming. Oh. No! Yeah. No, Michael. That, that, go in. That go in. The best thing the I've ever... No, leave... <laughs> cut this bit out and leave oh, it the oh. first bit, because I love that. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So, I... I love Michael and Hillary. I feel like I'm going to end up like Michael, just a really common version. <laughs> saggy. Yeah. The saggy version. Yeah, he's like the posh version of me. To be fair, I'm not far off that, and he's, he's got 50 years on me, but I'm as um, old, I think, in, in, in a lot of the way that I'm just ready for death. Good on him. Anyway, Hillary, Michael, we love you. You can follow us on Staying Relevant Podcast on Instagram, Staying Relevant Podcast on TikTok, and every Monday we have a new episode. We love you. Please don't go anywhere. Stay with us. Rate, review and all that sort of stuff because Ooh. it makes Sam happy. Yeah, five stars. We love a review. Well, not five stars if you think it was shit. Well, well be honest. Don't be too honest, but we love a review. So if you want to leave a review, please leave a review. The review's still upset, yeah. Sometimes if they say I cut in. I think you did well, actually, in that one. Thank you. I feel like I, I kept it back a little bit. Yeah, I think I think you did really well there. Come on. You're, you're improving. Yes. Could have ironed your shirt, though, you scruffy little fuck. I know. I Ta-da. See you next week. Goodbye.